Hello, and welcome to what's bubbling at Zimbibo. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we are pleased to announce Zim 10.7.0. <laughs> Shortly after Zim 10.6.0, which was a lot of a lot of new things as well, but Zim 10.7.0, some great new things. We're going to take a look at a bunch of them, including the new updates to Blob and Squiggle. So here is a blob, and you will note that as we move the blog, blob here, that the bounds change. So we now have a way to set the bounds on a blob and a squiggle. Neat. We've also improved the equation along the edges, so where we put the little dots along the edge for things like adding. Do you see how that added right at the spot there? Bing. Um, we've made it so those little dots we have now a bit a new Bezier equation and that evenly spaces the the dots uh, and we're using those dots for things like hit tests on shapes for uh, for adding things we have find the closest dot along the, that, that that type of thing so now that has improved yay isn't that neat um, and we've done some work uh, along with those dots being evenly spaced we've done some works with this things called beads and we're going to do a separate bubbling on beads but in this one we want to talk about uh, every all the updates from Zim 10.7 except for beads <laughs> How about that? so another thing that we have done is the animation along a blob or a squiggle now can start at any percent and go for any percent. So let's try that out, shall we? We'll go into some code now. <clears throat> oh, uh, I forgot to show you. We also have, we just did a bubbling on what's new in the site and forgot to show you actually on the code page here. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. We now have two templates. So you can copy the, the normal template as before, or you can go to the minimal here. And this is a minimal template. So let's copy the minimal template. And thanks, Eric, for that uh, idea. That's a good idea. And we'll come back into some code here, or some uh, Atom right here. We're going to paste our thing, and we'll just say blob animation, like that. So we're using CreateJS 1.2.3. That has some updates in it to help out with uh, various touch screen changes that have been going on. And then we're at Zim 10.7.0 here on our local CDN, uh, which is running through CloudFront, which was a change a little while back to, to sort of go away from Amazon and move to CloudFront. It just makes things a little bit easier for us. All right, here's the put your code here. Are there already. The only difference really with the minimal is there's less comments. So in, in the other one, there were lots of comments. So we, we removed the comments and streamlined that area. All right, a blob, new blob like that, dot center on the stage. And let's have a look, right click and open in browser. Uh, there she be. So what we're going to do is we're going to animate along a path of the blob. Uh, that sometimes looks a little bit better if we don't have the the fill and, and rather have uh, the border there. So we'll do that. Zoom in on this for you. And that would be border color colon blue for instance. And let's start it, uh, we'll make it not interactive. I don't think you'll mind, yeah, interactive, colon false. We, we can keep it interactive and then move it around. Uh, maybe show controls, I think, show controls. We'll keep it so that it is interactive if we want to change it so that you can see that the animations will continue to follow. Show controls false. And let's have a look. Should we scale that to dot .ska? So we'll dot ska twice as big so we can have a better look at this thing there it is and when we press here we will be able to change the path if, if we need to all right and let's animate something along there a simple circle um, var, var const 
It's another thing that has been bubbling. We're starting to move into JavaScript 6 or ES6 for most things these days. The school has been updated to all ES6. The templates have been updated to ES6. Just remember that Internet Explorer 10, uh, or 11, sorry, Internet Explorer 11 is still out there with 10% of the, of the use, and, and that doesn't run ES6. So uh, you'll want to pass it through Babel or something like that to make sure that your sites run on Internet Explorer 10. I, I, we're, we're so, or Internet Explorer 11, we're so forward thinking here on the canvas that sometimes it's hard to remember that, yeah, there's older browsers out there still. Const uh, path is equal to that new blob because we're going to now make a circle. So a new circle and we'll uh, make that 20 or something and how a color pink about. And we will dot add to dot add to. You only need to add to because the dot animate is going to drop that on the path right away. But we do need to at least add it to somewhere before we can do this kind of stuff. And then we can say props colon the path, which is the path. If it were really a six, we don't even need that. We could just say path, but still haven't changed over that quite yet in our minds or in our examples. So there's uh, the props and that would do it. It would now animate once around there. As a matter of fact, we wouldn't even have to go to Zimduo for that. That's the first parameter. So we could just put that in there and none of this other stuff. And we'd be animating along the path, shall we see? We refresh here and there goes the circle around the path in one second. So let's adjust the time though on that. Time colon more like five seconds and what we wanted to show you is that we can animate at a start percent so comma start percent colon say 20 so this will start along the path at 20 percent and refresh here there it is starting at 20 percent and animating to 100 percent so that's the way we've done it is it wherever we start it will animate 100 from that but we can actually say the percent to animate is 80 and that would then animate up to the top so we save that and refresh here now it's starting at 20 it's going a bit slower because it only has to go 80 percent to the top but check this out we could go 180 and that is 100% plus 80%, which means it's going to go once around, twice around, and stop. Cool, huh? And you can also go minus a percent. So if we just said minus 20, that would go quite slowly. <laughs> minus two. If we said minus 20% from its 20, that means it's going to go to the top slower. Let's speed that up a bit. In two seconds, it'll go to the top backwards. There it goes to the top backwards, and you can go minus 2%. And by the way, this is uh, if, if you rewind and loop it, it does the same thing. So it's kind of neat if, for instance, let's rewind it. Rewind, colon true, like that. And uh, let's see. We'll go minus 1. Oh, sorry, starting at 20. You, can, you could actually start at 120 as well. We'll go to... Uh, 200%. So this is now going 200% from where it is. We're going to do that in five seconds and then it will rewind backwards. And we refresh here. So there it is at 20%. It goes twice around and then it rewinds backwards. And pops in. Neat, huh? So uh, if we want to see what else is new, and that works on a squiggle as well. And by the way, you can move that stuff. I didn't show you that. Let's quickly do that. If I change this, it's still going around the path. Now that path came up on top. So now you would like, or you would want to make sure that the path doesn't come up on top. That's the blob on top colon false comma. And let's slow that down so we have a bit more time with it. That's quite slow, but now we can play around with it a bit more. So there it goes. Uh, by the way, that, that is an easing as well that is uh, a little bit um, not as expected. You might want 
a linear ease if you're going around a path. But if you're rewinding like this, the ease is, is nice, isn't it? And there it goes back again. And in all of this as well, uh, adding a point as well will still animate properly, although the animation is now finished. Removing points will still animate. Okay, super. Let's go back to the Zim site then, and we will hit the docs right here, and then pop into updates. So that's where you can find all of the latest updates. And here's 10.7. So we're going to take a look at beads in the next What's Bubbling. This was talking about the paths then. Here's talking about the squiggle and the blob. Great. And uh, anything else? Oh yeah, so there's the approximate bounds. So we can get, uh, you can set, it doesn't come with bounds set. It will come with bounds that are set to how it looks as you first make the, the blob if you don't pass in custom points. If you pass in custom points, then you'll need to approximate the bounds. And anytime the blob changes, you'll also need to approximate the bounds again. Um, that's It's not all that costly. You saw in that example that, hey, we're dragging this thing around and getting bounds. It may be that in future versions of Zim, we bring those in somehow automatically. But at the moment, we're uh, playing it cool. You have to do it. And uh, we'll see. We'll try it out for a bit. And then maybe we'll bring it in full time. All right. So animating along the path with the start percent and the percents. Uh, we also updated some things with uh, with properties like zoom and speed so that they now work with when you're inside containers. We hadn't realized that we hadn't worked it out so that those things were being properly done. That That's for animating along a path and, and say as it goes up higher on the page you want to make it look like it's farther away. That type of thing wasn't working when things were inside of containers that weren't sort of at the same place as the stage, for instance. But now that's been fixed by adding glo local to global support in there. We've improved the dispose. It turned out our dispose wasn't quite doing what we were hoping it did. So we spent some time making sure that uh, this will recursively dispose all containers uh, inside of containers. That's good. And then we have a few uh, general things here. We've added arrows to the pull down list so you can now have a pull down with instead of little pluses and minuses for the accordion, you can have little arrows for the accordion as well. And you would just put that in there in the sort of the styling area, or well, actually not the styling area, but the accordion object it's called, where you specify the shading. Uh, whether it's going to dim as as you go in and also arrows things like that okay thanks uh, christopher brown for that we've uh, adjusted some styles like so the, all all these things are on different parts and you'll want to have a look through them and and see what's new you may not even notice uh, some of them are slight bug fixes or small additions we have added a mouse and a no mouse methods uh, those could possibly be handy. E uh, most objects, is it's not really a concern, but if you have a lot of vector objects, um, uh, if you turn their mouse children off, then basically they're completely ignored with, uh, with mouse movement. Uh, the issue is, is sometimes if you have a lot of things that are interactive, um, if you're moving your mouse along, you might see slight slowdowns in animation or something like that as it tries to sort of figure out where your mouse is over top of all of these objects. So you could try if you want. I'm not I'm not actually quite sure why this helps, but it I think it helped. <laughs> it may have been just wishful thinking. Anyway, you can turn complex shapes uh, so that they're we've always been able to say mouse enabled false. And that's great, except you also have to mouse children false to make sure that the children of the object don't. And doing those two steps, sometimes people don't know how to do that. So we simpli we just wrapped that, we simplified it, and said mouse, no mouse. So if you, if you know that you've got something complex and it just never needs the mouse, then you could cache it. That's one option. Or you could, uh, but sometimes you don't want it cached. That affects the visual of it a little bit. You can just say no mouse and that will turn all of its mouse children off 
and you may see a slight improvement if you're experiencing bog. Now, this is when you've got like tons of animations going on or particle like particle emitters and you know com more complex things. Normally you don't see that. All right, uh, so that's what those things are. And then uh, I think that's about it then for Zim 10.7.0, aside from beads. And we're gonna come back and see beads in a what's bubbling. But that's pretty neat, huh? So we're, um, we're able to set the bounds on that. And that works even if we add new points here or change the types of points with uh, the double clicks. So these are uh, now different like that. And we get the bounds. All right, super duper. That has been a what's bubbling at Zim. Some general updates for 10.7.0. We're going to come on back with the beads. Cool. See you later. Dr. Abstract out. Come come join us. Zimjs.com slash slack. Give the video a like. Give all our videos a like. Tell all the people in the world. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Ciao.